Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and today I wanted to give you six recommendations for books that are all in different genres but all have the same vibe in the way that they are quiet dramas, very ambiguous reads, and have the same sort of melancholic, slow-moving atmosphere that I greatly enjoy in a novel. And these are actually novels that I don't think are going to be for everyone. They tend to have lower ratings because they don't answer all the questions that they raise, and they aren't as satisfying as other novels, but these are some of my favorite reads. So let's get right into it and give you some recommendations for unsettling, ambiguous, quiet reads that aren't explosive but really leave an impact on you. The first quiet drama that I have to recommend to you is a mystery and it is called Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. This is a book that I listened to on audiobook and completely enjoyed. It was immersive, it was engaging, and it's an audiobook that I did not want to stop listening to. So we follow two different families who are forced to converge with one another and kind of team together during very dire circumstances. So we follow a family of four and the parents are Amanda and Clay. They are driving their two children to Long Island to stay at a house for a weekend that they rented out and one night during this vacation they get a late night knock at their door and it is Ruth and GH. They are a black couple who owns the house that Amanda and Clay and their children are staying at and Amanda and Clay are white. Ruth and GH bring the news that New York City has had a massive blackout so they decided to leave Manhattan and drive up to Long Island to the safety of their home but Amanda and Clay and the family begin to suspect that something is wrong. They don't necessarily believe Ruth and GH. They are off-putted by them because they are different and they didn't expect these people to show up at the house during the, their vacation. And they are unsure as to what is happening in New York City because they are so far away from it. It says, Leave the World Behind explores the complexities of parenthood, race, and class. And it is done in such an effortless way that just flows beautifully into this subtle thriller that isn't necessarily in your face trying to thrill you, but it's more of a psychological thriller where you are putting yourself into the shoes of these characters, you are learning about their inherent biases, and you are witnessing as these two families have to come together in order to kind of survive this very weird circumstance. So that's what I greatly loved about Leave the World Behind. It's very subtle, it's very slow moving, but it's also entirely engaging because one of my favorite things to read about is blackouts because because I think that it's so scary in the way that it could happen, but it's not entirely the end of the world. The world is not crashing down around you. It's more like taking away all the tools that we rely on and putting us in this very empty type of surrounding where we have to rely on our wit, we have to rely on others, and I think it's such a great thing to explore in fiction, and it was done so beautifully. Highly recommend the audiobook. Such a good book, but it's also not for everyone because it's not going to answer all your questions and it's very ambiguous but I feel like if you like ambiguous reads, if you like murky type of stories, you would love this book. The next quiet drama that I have to recommend to you all is A Dark Academia that I actually think is very underrated due to the fact that it is slow moving, introspective, quiet in its plot, and it is The Truants. The Truants follows our main character Jess who goes to a school in England due to the fact that this one professor teaches at this university and she is greatly interested by this professor and wants to take a course with her. As Jess is taking this class with Lorna Clay, she falls into a friendship with a group of people who are not necessarily the best for her. So it says seductive, unsettling, and beautifully written, The Truants is a debut novel for lovers of Agatha Christie and The Secret History, a thrilling exploration of deceit, first love, and the depths to which obsession can drive us. One of my favorite things in dark academia novels is the exploration of obsession. I love when a character is obsessed either with a topic or a professor and that obsession fuels them in a way that is somewhat dangerous and self-destructive and you get to witness their downfall. The Truants is a novel that you have to really be patient with. It takes a bit to get into but it is such a wonderful read that takes its time unfurling and there are so many different twists and turns that are woven into this narrative 
narrative that will keep you on the edge of your seat and have you raising your eyebrows at these characters because every single one of them is inherently terrible. There's not one good character in this novel and that's also what I love about dark academia novels because all of these characters are flawed, all of them are interconnected with one another, and all of their secrets will eventually be revealed by the end of the story. So if you're a fan of slow moving fiction, underrated reads, and a different side of a dark academia novel, then I would highly recommend this one because I don't see a lot of people reading it and it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea because it is so slow moving, but I feel like if you like a novel that explores the complexities of people's lives and how their secrets can greatly impact others, then you would greatly enjoy The Truants. The next novel that I have to recommend to you actually is the novel that I saw a review for on NPR and NPR said that it was more like a surrealist novel, a quiet drama at that. And I loved that description of a quiet drama. A quiet drama to me is something that greatly changes the protagonist's life. They are learning secrets, their lives are falling apart at the seams, but essentially to the rest of the world, everything is business as usual. So a quiet drama is something that greatly affects the protagonist of the novel, but it doesn't necessarily affect the rest of the world. Hence why it's called Quiet. So the book that was coined a quiet drama is The Memory Police. So it says, on an unnamed island off an unnamed coast, objects are disappearing. First hats, then ribbons, birds, roses, until things become much more serious. Most of the people on this island do not notice that these things are disappearing, except a select few who still recall these things that previously existed. Those people are a threat to society and are being taken away by the memory police. So we follow our protagonist, who is a young writer, when she discovers that her editor is in danger from the memory police, so she decides to hide him in her house. It's pitched as an Orwellian tale, but I would like to deviate from that a bit, although that is one of the reasons why I picked up this novel. It's not as explosive as 1984. 1984 is action-packed, there is something bigger happening at the core of the novel, but The Memory Police is a very introspective type of read. You're not going to get all the answers to the questions that you have. It's ambiguous, it is just following this protagonist, and because we follow this sole protagonist, they don't know everything about the world that they live in. They don't know everything about the government that is controlling them in this dystopian society. So due to the fact that we are limited to this one character's perspective, we're not going to learn everything about the world. So this is a very obscure read and a sleepy nightmare that explores the power of memory and how easily that can be manipulated by the government or society in general. And I absolutely adored it. If you are a fan of 1984, if you are a fan of very obscure and murky type of sci-fi novels, then I would highly recommend this one because it's not too heavy on the sci-fi, but the concept is something that will live in your mind for months upon months and it will kind of haunt you. It somewhat feels like a Twilight Zone episode come to life in a book and it will absolutely live in your heart and your mind for months upon months. The next novel that I have to recommend is a pandemic quiet drama and it follows a simple town in California as they are succumbed to a sleep sickness. So the dreamer starts out on a college campus where a girl falls asleep and her roommate is unable to wake her up and eventually another student falls asleep and another and another and the sleep sickness begins to spread throughout this college town. Then we follow another point of view of a young couple who recently just had a baby and in another point of view we follow these two sisters who are living with their father who is a doomsday prepper and he has been prepping for this type of situation his entire life. Through these three points of views, we follow this sleep sickness as it takes over this town and this town is eventually put under quarantine and these three different groups of people have to deal with this pandemic in a very different way. What made me love The Dreamers was the fact that we follow so many different points of views. It's an omnipresent type of third person that drifts around this town as we follow these different characters dealing with the situation where people are succumbing to the sleep sickness. It's atmospheric while also capturing the absolute chaotic 
chaoticness of quarantine and it feels like a radio drama in your head if you've ever listened to a fictionalized podcast that's what the dreamers felt like when i was listening to it on audiobook it captures the unsettling feeling of not being in control of your own life and how characters react in such different ways and how they have to go through different circumstances and if you're looking for a sci-fi that is very ambiguous and speculative in a way where it raises so many questions and touches upon so many different aspects of humanity then you would love the dreamers the next quiet drama that i have to recommend to you all is a sci-fi and it's a book that i actually finished a couple of days ago and what's interesting is the fact that it has such a low rating on goodreads but i Decided to pick it up either way because it sounded interesting to me and I'm so glad that I listened to my heart rather than Goodreads because it became one of my favorite reads of 2021 and I'm so glad I did not listen to the hype and it is The Need by Helen Phillips. The Need follows an exhausted mother who is taking care of her two kids when she begins to hear something in her house and she comes face to face with an intruder who knows more about her life than she ever thought could happen. That is the basic premise of the synopsis but it's so much more than that and the reason why that is the basis for the synopsis and you aren't given any more information is the fact that if you were given any more information the whole entire book would be ruined for you it's like a wonderful speculative fiction that i just want more people to read but i feel like it only will hit the right type of people people who like weird books people who like books that don't give you all the answers people who like being thrust into the action and aren't given a lot of background information i feel like you would like this book if you are a fan of fiction where you don't know what's really happening but you're just along for the ride and you are just enjoying where this book is going to take you because you have to go into this book without knowing too much and you just have to trust the author to take you along this journey into this twilight zone-esque situation that you are just in awe by and confused by and i feel like you just have to embrace being confused when reading the need that's the best way i can describe it i can't give you i can't give you any more information read this book if you like weird books read this book if you have the same type of taste as me it's such a good book and I'm sad that so many people don't like it but I can understand why because the synopsis is so vague and it makes you think about like a home invasion situation but it's not just a home invasion situation it's the aftermath of that and how this main character is dealing with this intruder in their life. And last but not least I have an indigenous thriller quiet drama recommendation that was just such an amazing read that again feels like an episode in the Twilight zone and it is moon of the crusted snow moon of the crusted snow takes place during the winter in the Anishinaabe community up in canada there has been a blackout and this community is cut off from the rest of the world and everything changes for this community when an outsider decides to come into this community seeking solace and that really tips the scales of the power dynamics in this community to me this not only felt like a twilight zone episode but an a24 film in the way that this book starts out very slow and you don't really know where you're getting yourself into and action is slowly happening people are starting to fight with one another tension is brewing and right towards the end the action really peaks and so many things are happening at once like an a24 film this novel effortlessly builds tension and it explores the power dynamics in a community during a dire situation and it also explores what people are like when they're completely cut off from society when their phones don't work, when their power doesn't work. So if you're looking for a quick tense read that is perfect for winter time because it is set during such a harsh season, then I would highly recommend Moon of the Crusted Snow. It is so completely unique and perfect for fans of Leave the World Behind and I think those two stories go really well together because they both have the same situation but they're so completely different. They're both absolutely fantastic, very ambiguous, and they both kind of have the same vibe. Those are six quiet dramas that I would highly recommend to you all and they span a bunch of different genres so I feel like there's something for everyone if you're looking for a weird read that is ambiguous, that is full of apprehension and anxiety. Again, these books are not for everyone. I know that people go into these books expecting one thing and they get another because all of these synopses are very vague because if you were to get any more information from these synopses then you would ruin all these plot twists and you would ruin the intro 
intrigue that all of these books have. So let me know if you have any book recommendations that are similar to the vibes that these six books have. These books are all very different, but they all have that same overtone to it, where it's vivid, tension is brewing, it's kind of anxiety inducing, but it's done in such a way that will completely immerse you in a book and will leave you thinking about it long after you've finished it. I would love to get your recommendations in the comments and I would also appreciate if you were to put the genre as well because all of these span different genres, but they all have somewhat of the same vibe. So if someone's looking for something that is an ambiguous sci-fi, then they can look into the comments for that. If you have made it this far in the video, leave that swirling emoji that I really like, but I never use because like when does anyone actually use that emoji? Put that swirling emoji down below so we can see who stays for the longest in my videos. Let me know if you have other very specific book recommendation videos that you would like to see from me. I feel like this is my most niche type of book recommendation video because I don't even really know what to call it. They're all weird but in a good way. Like they're not too weird. They're definitely weirder books, but they all have this very weird type of vibe to them that leaves you a little bit unsettled. And I loved that about them all. So thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.